an hour of the show. We have our friend Kirk Minahan in here. We were supposed to have him on at 4.30. Kirk, I know you love when we delay. When I was you, wondering how long it would take him to yeah. well, so I've cut did I say? That. Did I say anything? Figured we no, might well, as well. Beat you, too. you don't have any right to say anything anyways when you're in studio because you're here like to do it. Right. I, so why you? I didn't complain. No, I, I'm here. I I've sw- say all, all day I've said whatever anybody wants me to do, I'll fucking do it. I'm here. You've been on... From what I can see, almost every show, too, doing a lot of stuff. I've been doing, well, I'm here, right? I'm, I'm here to help out. I'm here to promote, shake my ass. So I'm here for So what have you done today? Uh, I was on with your dad this morning. Um, I was on, Carab- I did my own podcast. I did Carabas's podcast. I did Riggs's golf podcast. Um, have you like been I'm on radio something. yet? You have, right? Yeah, oh, I was well, on my dad, I guess. Yeah, yeah. How did that go? It was incoherent. It was babble. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, it was, I mean, nothing no, it's made like that sense. Every day. Yeah, it was That's seven it different. Yeah. People just talking about nothing. I didn't understand. Your dad would occasionally scream something and try and make a point and then just kind of go away. Yeah, yeah. that was it. No, that's what he does. Yeah. That's the but whole no, show. I did, like I said, I did Jared. I did his. His was fun. We had a good time. How long are you here till tomorrow? I leave tomorrow. I do that cooking thing and I'm out of here. The $20, $20 chef. $20 yeah. Chef. Yeah. Am I going to enjoy that pro- thing or no? I don't know. Probably not. Okay. You, you know like who to came cook? up to me? Frankie came up to me. He's like, geez, Kirk was on foreplay. He's like a dark guy. It's like... Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's did, in the what, hospital with like suicidal thoughts. What so did he? It's what, pretty dark. What, what did he think? I mean, I've I've worked with him before. I mean, I don't know. Why, Frankie? Why were you so? Surprised? Oh, and I guess you, uh, you said I look unhealthy. Well, I think you're. Yeah, I do think you're going to die soon. I guess you put an exact May 18th, 2020. So you think I look unhealthy? You look then? sickly. You look. I'm. I'm saying this to somebody. You know, we get along. I'm I saying know. this as a point of like I'm concerned. Oh yeah, yeah. I think we get along. Yeah, yeah I think I think you're gonna die in by you put an actual May. date on it. Well, would that make more sense, or rather me just say you're gonna no, die? I love it. Yeah, because then it's like when I surpass it, uh, that's a victory. That's well. What if you don't? I think it doesn't matter. Well, you're that, dead. Well, that's an ultimate, ultimate loss. Right, but then they well, got all. No one knows what happens in the afternoon. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Yep. So on, uh, so I'm on uh, the foreplay podcast. At the mm-hmm. end of the show, it mm-hmm. was fine, whatever. They're fucking yapping. No problem. I'm happy to do it. So at the end of it, I'm like, I think what Dave's going to die. Was I? Go on. <laughs> I, said, I think Dave's going to die next May. And then I said, if he dies, I think you would like to be buried with Stella. And everyone was like, oh! Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. That's, so, that's exactly my point. They were no, like, but that's the way. way that you can't believe you said the whole that thing, thing was that you brought crazy. it up in the, the cut. Way he said you it, randomly though. dropped out of the clouds like Dave's yeah. going to die. And I bet yeah. when he does, he's going to be buried by Stella. We were <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking what about? What the fuck is wrong with that? I, no, but it was crazy because it came out of nowhere. I have no problem with that. None. But the way he said it, he's like, he was he was saying that you were going to die in a confrontational way. He goes, Dave's going to die soon. They'll bury him next to that dog. That's your big. Yeah, you just look thin. I mean, I, that's good. I thought no, I was but you getting look, but you fat. Look, like I've seen fat. No, 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 no. I didn't say, I said thin. The fuck no, but you, you were, compared no. to what? Well, I'm saying is I've seen people in my life die really, really sick. And you have that look sort of in your face right now. Like, I think you're, I think, this is my theory. I think you're dying of some sort of cancer and you're oddly being sort of brave and not telling anyone, anyone here. Oh, about I it. definitely oh, don't. Oh, you think he knows it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think you've got the diagnosis. Yeah. Yeah, you think this was foreplay. This is what we did on foreplay. I think this is. You think? Well, that's the irony. I I know you would. You'd be the first. So I think something. I know. I know. But death. I death does something. I truly hope I do not have any hideous disease. When's the last time you had a physical? Oh, I don't know. Years ago. That's just what I've seen them saying. But I think. I think if you you went to one of these hospitals around here and they said, Dave, listen. Nine months, and I think you're you're not telling anyone. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I know. Who doesn't I know, know me at I know all. Very well, but I'm saying that's the irony of it. Something, I, think some, I think something is something, is, something is I, changed you with this diagnosis. I he has bee sting survivor in his Twitter bio. If I had, <laughs> well, if I had nine months and I knew that, there would be legitimately like a set. Time every day to do Dave Porn appreciation. I'm wondering. I think this diagnosis has changed you in some way. I mean, it's just crazy talk. Oh, I'm, crazy. I'm, I'm, I, I'm crazy. So I, think I there's hope got, there's, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't think I look sickly right now. I was more get thin, over his Tommy? head. Get over his head. Nice catch. I was more afraid. I was getting fat again. So to hear that I'm skinny, I'm very. Oh, no, happy. no, 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 no. You're not getting fat. Well, no, clearly. You but say I don't know what the so big deal. I don't know what the big deal to get back like the Stella thing. What, I mean, my thing is I don't like. I don't give a shit about dogs. I don't, right. like, I don't care. Your dog died. You right. Know that. I know. Like, it was more. I know you said don't. it with. I don't know. Although when the dog died, I said I was sorry for you. I felt bad. Nah, said, no, we were going through that stuff with your guy Steve. What's his name? In Robinson. The back? Yeah. He looks like someone I would not trust. By the way. 
Interesting. He has a very like he shady does. look. No, he only has is that prep school asshole look. Yeah, like, he, he want to just Definitely. fucking smack him in the face. Yeah, your crew and Blind Mike. I don't know if I've ever seen him without glasses on. I don't know what makes him think you can walk around here without they've, glasses. They, by the way, you said I've done everything today. They've done nothing today. I, si- it. They, I mean, literally. A well, waste why'd you bring them? Uh, great question. Waste of barstool expenses. Waste of expenses. Right. Which would come out of my fucking pocket at the end of the day. Great. Anyway, but Kirk yeah. also he asked us if if you did die when we were talking about it on radio, would we cry? Yes. I don't know. Oh, is that, is that an order? No, no. I, I, the, I don't see Riggs crying over it. Like a memorial. Frankie said definitely. I said I think so, but I'm not sure. I think people would. I think people would be quite stunned how much they'd be moved. Not only because they care about me so much, but, you know, everyone would be like, maybe a second, I feel bad. Second two is like, what does it do to Barstool? What do we do now? Right. That part of it, I think. Like a guy like, a guy like this is fucked. Oh, What's I'd he going to be do? crying my eyes out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is he going to do? Yeah. Yeah. He's going to cry, Kirk? You have, uh, oh, I like Dave. I, I don't know if I... I might cry, yeah. I mean, when I see him battle this over the next few months, I think he's going to be really brave about this. I think he is. He's going to put a face on this. Yeah. Listen, there's nothing I would love to do more than, like I've said, it, like fake my own funeral and keep a scorecard of who shows up and That's how they act. That's a good move. You should do that. I wish I could. I think they'd be on to it. But yeah, so I, I but these guys were like you. If you had seen me when I mentioned, St- they, everyone was like, Frankie was. Well, I love was Stella. Like, yeah. Stella, like, oh, I know, but he's like, oh, you like, said it with like a smirk. You go like, I was smirking. You gave yeah. like a smirk of like, so when Dave dies, you're gonna bury him next to Stella. You said that's it as I like said a. It. I said it. You said it like, like a jab. Dog, I don't. Know. That's not a jab. I don't know. Well, you, it's it's it again. I don't want to go too a, much in this because the minute fans were like mocking. Oh, you're such a fucking death. baby about this. You are. You are your baby about it. You I'm are a baby about you it. You do. You uh, when you're on with my show, you were complaining about it. I wasn't complaining. Yes, I said it, yes I, you I, were. Listen, people can do whatever, but no, if that's you not make what you cartoons said. You like, my dog dying. Right. Like again, I how did I respond? I said, oh, I hope someone close to you dies. I'm glad your parents are dead. <laughs> So I don't know that that's being a baby about it. <laughs> I think that's that's. I don't mind that, right? But, but, but I'm about fair play. I don't know why you. If mind someone, someone with, if someone's like, I don't care about your dog. It's like I don't care about your parents. Well, great. I mean, why well, like your dad? So I don't want your dad. I don't know your parents. You didn't know my dog. My dog's probably nicer than your parents. They both passed. That's fine. Point being, though, you're talking about some parody account with like 18 followers, and you're just like, fuck you. I'm no, run the you over. The extreme minifans. fans. I did what? Who did like those pictures or something? They were making like cartoons, <laughs> which is fine. How's that? Well, I, well, how long have you been here now? Not that long. In well, Barstool? Four yeah. months. Not that long. How long? Like six, five, four months. So what's your six-month like report card? Uh, I'm in, I was telling these guys today, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I have, yeah. I have no, no issues at all whatsoever. I was, I'm surprised at the level of sensitivity some in the building. There's uh, always. There's always. Right. I could have told I you that. Right. It's like anywhere. I didn't know that. And the thing you had said to me when we first talked was, you might get frustrated not being in New York about promotional stuff, but it's fine. I don't care. Who's most surprisingly sensitive? Other than Dave with the dog stuff? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not th- sensitive to it. See what I'm saying? I mean, that's a sensitive reaction right there. It's a that's mean. sensitive reaction. Well, I'm not like, oh, I, I, like, I don't. I mean, is this a sensitive time? Is this, I mean, would you say it's a level of sensitivity? Here? Who's the closest that, person to you right now? On earth? Yeah. Blind Mike. Physically, like in my life? Yeah. My kids, my wife, my family. Right. So if I'm like, you know, making cartoons when your kids die, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> I probably wouldn't like it. Exactly. <laughs> Team Portnoy Twitter that? account. So let's just hope they stay healthy. Team Our Stool account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tommy being like, I don't know who yeah, that no, was. I don't know who made I mean, that I think one. Willie oh. Cologne would be a lot of people run that I account. I didn't know that. Who knew? I didn't know. I, you know what? And to Willie, and I shouldn't say, I think Willie, I actually don't think Willie's sensitive. I think he came from a world he didn't know what to make of it. Like, I think every day... Willie is more accustomed to the give and take of Barcel sports. Okay, well, then, okay, that's fine. I could know. be wrong. That's my take on it. Yeah, He's uh, come a long way from Lupus Gate. Yeah. With Smitty. Who yeah. I forget? Oh, Chaps. Surprised how sensitive Chaps was, but you know, that's okay. But that's a sense of, yeah. I don't think Chaps is sensitive. That was a sense of error. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he served in the military, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, I mean, Steve confirmed that. Didn't, never served. Yeah. No, but like these guys. I mean, he did take a bullet. Well, did he? But the uh, I won't he mind didn't shooting no, Steve. He didn't die. I have no. Life. I have absolutely no issue with that. If, if uh, let's, shoot, let's shoot you in the kneecap and see if you make fun of the military. <laughs> but yeah, but everybody, I don't know. The there is. Fans, there's definitely some sensitive people. There's no doubt about that. Right. But some aren't. By the way, you know, I like, also like, agree like, with like that. Like a KFC or a Carabas, you know, those guys can take it. I'm, I'm impressed with that. Well, Carabas sometimes gets sensitive. Eh, does he? He's all right with me. Yeah. No. He. Know. Frankie Carabas. hates Carabas. Oh my God. He was genuine. Ranting on hate. him today when, during before their podcast yep. like crazy. Genuine I think it hate. depends on what the area is with Carabas that he can sort of get sensitive on certain things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. He's been good so far with me. But no. Overall, uh, A minus. Well, that's good. Why? What would you give me? I don't know. I guess 
I wouldn't, A minus would make me think something spectacular is going on. Now, well, I'm enjoying, I'm, I don't usually enjoy work. Like, it's all, I always have issues. And yeah, so we're, far, we're, we're, I, the, and there have been a couple early. We are very tough to have issues with because we basically, well, don't we've care had about a few, it. but you know, I know, that's what I'm saying. But well, we've you're talked about, I mean, if you, let me put it this way if you have issues here, there's no place in the world you can work unless you work for yourself. I know that. I know yeah, that. But, because, but, but, but I think we've talked them out. Absolutely. Like, you were ready to accept my resignation. Oh, am I going to beg you to stay? Well, you could have you said, hey, you know, think it, let's think it over. You're still here. Right, well, that's because your dog died, though. My reality, dog did die. That, it, I'm saying that, that was saved, a big factor. that saved Robinson's job. That's the real tragedy. It potentially could have. <laughs> now, to, to my credit, I don't know who he is. This is the first time I've seen him. I never heard of him. Right. Like, I could care less about him. I agree. So it's neither, like, neither do I. He's probably interested. Where did he come from? He was a Boston radio producer. For who? Uh, Howie Carr. Oh. You know Howie. I, yeah, I know you him. You know I, the name, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's doing a good job. He's, doing, he's working hard. Okay. The, the Mike's working hard. We're doing our thing. Everything's fine. A, B plus, A minus. Closer than A minus than B plus. What, uh, what's what's your, your cohort there, uh, Jerry? What's he going to do? I know you did your thing with him. We the did other the show day. with him Friday. Yeah. I don't know. I think he wants to do some sort of podcast. We're gonna. I don't. I don't know how it's gonna work. You know, I wouldn't mind doing a show with him once a week, every couple of weeks. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna talk to Eric about that tomorrow. I think. Oh. What do you What do you think? I was gonna ask you. I didn't really listen to it. I know you didn't. No, didn't. let me qu- let me clarify what I just said. I didn't listen to Correct. it. Correct. I know. I know. What you, <laughs> yeah, clarification is not necessary. I didn't really listen to it. I didn't listen to it. Yeah, I mean, I assume it would be good. People would like it. I don't know. Does that – you start getting dollars and cents. I'm sure he's not, like, overly cheap. Is adding him going to bring new audience, or you already have that entire audience? So that's the question that that's would go in my mind from the business side. A reasonable side. question. I think that's yeah. what we're debating right now. Yeah, so, because, I, but he's also might do his own thing. I don't know. You know, yeah. I don't know. Everyone's. I don't know. Everyone. You do one show with somebody. Everyone's like it's the greatest thing in the world. Well, you know, because you do one. I don't know three, four shows, but I like working with them. Yeah, I'm sure oh. it would be good. I'm sure it'd be good. And I, you know, I, I he's listen. I like he's Jerry. Great. He's the best. The what? It's very hard to just go do your own thing. It's like you, without like the platform to so who knows possible yeah I mean it's, I mean I remember that fat asshole uh, Ordway remember when he tried to do his own station that worked well <laughs> that was funny <laughs> what happened yeah, so he he's a guy he used to make fun of me when I started Barstool like oh they're trying to do their own thing in the basement I'm EEI blah 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 then you know he he became extendable useless got fired basically from EEI and tried to start his own station basically tried to start his own company similar to like what I've done except we're here. Um, and his just failed miserably. Good. Yeah. Damn. Good. I like Glenn, but that's a. That's you a, like Glenn? Well, we got. He's always been loyal enough to me. Uh, what do you want me to say? I, I just don't like liars. Right. Okay. That's a. But that's a. He's a liar. But he's I will a say that's a, that's a that's a reasonable description of the events that occurred. I can't argue that. It's a no. fucking yeah disaster. And yeah. This isn't so. Yeah. Kirk, what's your relationship like with um, K. Marco? I mean, it's it's. Funny. He came on your show. Though. Yes, that you go a long way when you do that. He was sensitive yeah. at first. He got. In, he literally did the podcast on his knees, begged for forgiveness the whole time, and I eventually gave it. Now to him. I would say he's not. I I would put him if you're going from not sensitive to sensitive. I would put him in the more sensitive category. Yes, here. I was surprised how sensitive. But he, he also was. isn't like a mix it up guy. So well, it's, but he also immediately said like, uh, you know, I don't know about all these tweets from your fan. Like, I don't like. So who gives a shit? And I, don't I get will that. agree. I thought Chap should have gone on your show. I told him that. Right, I told him I'd go on his, and they didn't want me. I mean, you know, I, I'll go on any any show, any place. I don't think, for what we do, if somebody here asks you to go on their show, you should say yes. I agree with that. I mean, I don't. Why would you say no? Even if you hate the person, it's a, it's a reason you should go. Some on. people, yeah, I I, I agree. Some people it should be a give mandate a from you. Well, no, I won't do that. I don't. Yeah, make it should be in your will, on. which you should be right I'll let now. Let people do whatever the hell they want. Do you have to a do. will? Do I have a? No. You don't. No. You walk okay by a bus. Then I'm dead. I know, but you have, where's everything going? It, right now, I'll go, I'll go to Renee. May 19th. Okay. Yeah, which I'm fine May with. May 18th. And then she'll probably buy like Give a Give them a huge, day to figure it out. Girl. No, that's A true, huge yeah. plot of land and we'll just adopt dogs. All right. They'll all die eventually. So will one everybody by close one, to you. By one, by one. If you can outlast them. But you can't, I mean, you can't rationally say, uh, uh, I know people love dogs. Okay, I respect that. But you can't say it's the same as losing a human. Yes, I can. You, you know, it's you worse. Can't. You can't. You Why? had no loss. Did. You had no human well, loss. Humans are assholes. Then. Dogs are great. Sixteen years. How old's your kids? 
uh, 12 and 8. All right. So they're like half the fucking age. Okay. But here's the they thing. start talking, so Stella, like, so don't they say a dog is like the same like mental capacity as like a three or four year old? Who says that? Science. Who's they? Science. Okay. So so if a, if, you, if Stella ran away from you guys like five years ago, he'd go with some other, fa- other family. She, it's just be just as happy. Your kids would probably be twice as happy. <laughs> you ever heard of like adopted kids and whatnot? My daughter is adopted. Dogs run away. So there you go. What does that mean? Probably looking for their adopted parents. Like, this guy <laughs> sucks. Let me go find the real deal. <laughs> their kids run away all the time. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, they do. All the time? Kids run away from home. Just imagine day. kids getting off a leash and running across <laughs> the street. <laughs> yeah. I see a lot of that. But, but I mean, if a do- a dogs also run away, right? They get out of leash. Yeah, and they sometimes off. they lose track, and it's like, oh, I don't know how to get Because they're home. stupid, right? Yeah. Well, it depends the type of dog. Okay, right. Some dogs are stupid, just like some humans are stupid. Okay. White Fine. Sox Day, for example. Really? Yeah, what did I miss there? He just, just keeps misrepresenting really facts, yeah. and then he's too stupid to realize it. You know you gave a free pass to last week? Who's I it? thought. You're going gonna, gonna to disagree with me immediately. I said this to you on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Whitney, you were too easy. I know. I know. You were too easy on him. Can I tell too you, easy can, can on I tell him? You, can I tell you why? What do you, you always value, you said this to me, uh, 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 loyalty and importance to Barstool above all else, right? You should have said to him, what you worried about this fucking four ball thing? Fuck you. Play the golf tournament. Oh, in that respect, he's like, he's a freelance. I know, guy. but still, but not really. I mean, but like, no, really. But you, but would you say the Barstool brand has helped him? Absolutely. So then you should say, how about a little fucking loyalty? And I like Whitney, but have a little loyalty. Yeah, no, my, it's my a different. Region? Listen, there, there, everything is a revolving situation here. Using that, he's freelance, successful podcast. He. He would probably say, well, fuck Barstool in that situation. He'd be like, I, I want to play the football. And what, he would bail? He'd leave the podcast? He'd yeah, leave well, I, don't, if it, I don't think in that situation it would break down, but he'd be, I don't care. Like, I, he, the guy has, what, $20, $30 million in the bank? He's not doing it for money. It's like the caller daddy thing. It's like everyone's treated differently. Blind Mike pulls something like that. It's like, Blind Mike, you're playing this or fucking you're done. Like, so some people you have more. more for, I don't think he would. If you posed it to Whitney. He'd walk. I believe he would. Mm-hmm. I respect that. From him or me? Him? Him. What do you think he would do? If you pose it like that, like, dude, listen, it's this or you're out. I think he'd pick well, out. I I, yeah, yeah I and I think he'd pick out, and the Chicos guys would probably just all go do their own thing. And they're under contract, so I don't know if they could do that if he, like, quit. And that. Although it may be like <laughs> a – it may be – he may be – you can't fucking – Put that question to me like that. I don't know Whitney at all. I've talked to him a couple of times. I like I Whitney. like him, too. The times I've talked to him, he's very nice. I'm told he likes the podcast, so I like that. But I was surprised that he wasn't, like, all fucking in. I, it just seems like it'd be fun. I don't know. See, he's, I'm not. because I He's obsessed. His life. Right. Is this four-ball tournament? Is this. And not only that, he plays in all. His life is this golf. That's why he didn't want to. Like, yeah, but this he's not is, gonna, but he's this not is gonna one tournament. I'm, we're relitigating from last week. He's not going to lose his. They're not going to take his fucking status away from him. They, no, they said that they would. And if there's, like Dave said, if there's a 1% chance, he's out because as much fun as this one event might be, he plays in 10 that he considers you guys, just now, as you fun. You guys call the so USGA much. and it's done. He plays. I, well, I think it we we eventually up. did. And right, it, that's what I'm saying. But once it blows up, it's yeah, kind of out of their hands. I agree with you. My thing on Whitney. Generally, I'm on the same side with him, and where he looked like an absolute idiot by not telling us he was the one who not a good look. No, no, he, you gotta, you gotta, you he gotta went no a full, full day letting us try. Didn't mention it. Didn't mention it. We gotta he, look big picture. If you're gonna tell Lila, if you're gonna do that, you gotta think of everything. In, you know, I don't. You know. I usually think he's smart. I don't know in this case whether he was just. He's like the USGA will never come clean. I don't know what he mm. thought was going to happen. That so, they would never tell us. That they weren't going to tell us. Like, hold on, we're getting trashed for nothing. Yeah. But he came out looking like a real idiot and dishonest and a coward. Which oh, is that he looked great. Which is rare for him. Yeah, it is. So I didn't hate it. But no, I I, I put everything. I I don't think he has the ultimate leverage in the sense. Ultimately, I don't think he cares that much one way or the well, that's other. That's a good thing to have. Yeah. That's a good thing to have. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, he's I think in a most very people, advantageous position. I think in most general. people in life can't, you know, even like, uh, I don't know the money that Whitney does, but even when you said you're going to fire Robinson, I was like, well, then I'll quit. Right. Because I'm in a different situation right. than, you know, right. I, it's just different. Right. right. You know, it's and, my, nice... and, and that's where we're, I'm like, all right, fine. So then it's like, all right, there's two of us with who don't care that well, you much. You and I? Yeah. Well, no, you were like, please don't. I don't know. Like, oh, yeah. I don't want, yeah, like a long please to like a plea, like a long please. I'm pretty sure that a, it was very similar to when the, the guy from Texas was like, I quit. I'm like, all right, time for the rundown. That was. Well, then why am I here? 
I don't. If you Stella want to quit, quit. <laughs> if you if you want to, quit. I don't want to quit now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. But I said I said, but then I have to quit, and now Steve's still here, and I'm still here. So you can fire. I'm him. happy. I don't want. I don't know. Fire I, him. Good. Fire him. Just fucking. Fire like him. I I don't know him, so I wasn't like Look at him. waking Look at him. up. Don't you want to fire him? Like, I, he does seem. Would it like be satisfying to fire him? He's yeah. He's he more like one of the all time douchebags I've ever seen. I mean, can we get a picture of what a douchebag this guy looks like? Do, does he get that a lot? I'm yes, getting douchebag vibes. He's in the here. most hated person. Did he go to Duke? He should have. He looks like he should be in the Cobra Kai, right? <laughs> he just looks yeah. like a real hateable he does. white guy. Yeah, he looks like right. When when all these things come out on like frat kids and like he why looks like people the fourth hate, guy like like in the lineup, it, yeah. one of the frat things. So yeah, like, yeah, in, in court, like with his yeah. fucking suit and his dad. Yeah. He yeah. does. He's, he's a fucking asshole, but he looks. I'm not saying he is. He looks like right. a real jerk. Yeah. We, uh, yeah, yeah. We're in the studio here, and I was sitting here, like whatever. We're doing the show. We're calling Eddie. We're calling White Sox Dave. And this guy came behind us, and he starts asking Eric and all this stuff for like things that he's gonna need for this audio, or whatever. I had no idea who the hell he was, and I literally looked at Brennan. I'm like, who the fuck is this douchebag? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I'm, like, I'm like, who the hell is this fucking guy? He, and then it turns he, he out does he's, he's look producer. like an absolute asshole. He does. He does. Yeah. He does. He's, <laughs> a, he's a nice guy though. I'm sure he is, but he looks like he's rolling out like Republican convention. Oh, just yeah. everything oh. that oh, people yeah. don't yeah. like about white people. Yeah, that Mitt Romney like shot. He's like for the first guy in line, <laughs> yeah. front row, clapping hard. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, big yeah. time. Hey, whatever. Probably nicest guy who ever lived. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, we'll never know. How's Blind Mike working? I haven't seen this in AIDS. I walked behind him. and always gave me a kick when he was uh, interning because his font is just so gigantic. Massive, right. And he's like scrolling like at ant speed through everything. I was saying earlier, I think maybe it was Carabas. Uh, Coley Mick came in and, and said hi to everyone. He went to shake Mike's hand. He put his hand out to shake Mike's hand. And Mike is so blind at this point. Like his hand was there. Coley, Mike's at this hand, point, is he getting blinder? He's getting blinder, yeah. Mike's hand went like eight feet above his hand to shake his hand. He couldn't even see the hand. It like, was way above. It was bizarre. I've never seen anything like Some it. Some of my favorite videos is oh, still classics. back in the day when right. I just took him out for athletic endeavors and right. just would well, I'm happy, smash I'm happy him. to report he is, in fact, getting blind. It will be permanent blind one day. Yeah, I mean, it's not. It's I wish you could have seen that original interview we, we had with him. Well, I've seen it. It's on, it's on YouTube. The one where you realize he's blind at the end? Yeah. yeah I've I mean, seen it that. was the yeah. worst interview ever. Ever. Oh, I can only Until imagine. Until he's like, oh, by the way, I'm blind. And I did like a 180. I'm like, what? How did you not know he was blind the whole time? He wasn't as blind then. I oh, realized it, right? He said he true. realized I don't it. know. I just thought. He hates you, Tommy. Fights? No, uh, Mike. Why? I don't know. He, he does. Right? <laughs> Brian, Mike. Have you seen I threw the wallet off his face? I've seen that. In the That's ping the pong, only the ping time. ping pong, right? It, what? You played ping pong with him, too. They killed him at I ping pong. I played ping pong, spike and mini ball, golf. mini golf. Yeah, and you threw a wall in his face. But the, we, there That's was a fun. theory it was faking it, right. and I threw a wall and smashed him in the face. It's the only time maybe in 15 years I felt bad. <laughs> like, it just went directly. Yeah, but how else, were you, spo- I mean, how else were you supposed to prove I it? I believed it from that point on. I'm like, this dude is blind. Because that's just instinctual. Yeah. You get yeah. Oh, good point, yeah. So he didn't know it was coming. No. Right. We called him up like, hey, come up. We have a question. And he come and uh, just tossed the wall and went right off his face. <laughs> Because the other stuff, if he's really a master you could, content, you could act. Guy, right? You're not acting when you don't know what's coming. Somebody throws something in your face, you'll react. He did not at all. <laughs> because he didn't see it. Correct. Because he's blind. Correct. He's only, and as I said, I'm happy to report soon he will be permanently blind. That's great. That, that is should be a good big day on our show, I think. That's a, it's a good no. He should wear. Do you have like a blindo meter on it? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. He should wear glasses, though. I don't know why he's not. He feels. I don't know why he's not wearing his sunglasses. Yeah, he, he has to wear his sunglasses. Or saying. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. recognize. Now I. Yeah. It's part yeah, of that's a blind look. guy. Yeah, that's it's blind. A you're blind. Look, you it's like some. when you your eyes. By the way, rigs are people are. They almost look like they're recrossing. What do you mean? <laughs> they look like they may be reverting to their. Oh, there's a oh, little, wow. Original yeah. a little bit condition. Of that. The yeah. right one, right? I will say that the doctor originally said he's like it might be three to six months where they go a little in. Remember how you used to say it was oh. a little in. Yeah. You used to say, I think it's gone in. He said that might oscillate in, out, and then eventually while your brain figures it all out, but it could be three to six months before they're like perfectly straight for good. Oh, okay. That's exciting. Hmm. All right. Yeah, the right one. Oh, my God. The Cardinals are playing horrific defense. This is a disaster. What are they doing? This is going to come back to haunt. All right. What else? Do, is there anything else we want to talk about with Kirk? We got him here. What are you guys doing tonight? Big party no, for the man no, group. Nothing. I will be alone the way I like it tonight. Totally, mm. totally silent. I, I'm, t- I'm, I'm, I did like fucking like eight hours worth of stuff. I'm tired. I put like an eight hour day. It's bizarre. That is real weird. I, I don't like it. It's, it's, it's a real like a world. Forward. Yeah. That's I, what I do. We wake up. We just go, go, go. Yes, but yeah, I, I, I wouldn't last a week here. I'd fucking burn out. 
I'm not built for it. I'm not. I'm just too old. Too Still a lot of people saying they want you to do radio or no? Yeah. A lot of people were, yes. Yeah. Do you, do you, want, do you want me to do radio? I think radio. We've talked about this. Yeah. I, what I think about radio is it is the most consistent. F- so when you get in pissing contests with like other people here, which isn't happening a ton, it's the most consistent way or flow that we have at Barstool. So it, it, you become more of the storyline. Well, when, when, when would I be on? I don't know. I have to figure it out. Okay. When would you want to be on? I mean, you offered me the mornings originally. You and Willie could do a show together. No, me solely. He said how bad the breakfast one was, and he offered me that. That's email. just not true. Well, again, we agree to disagree. That's it's not my true. recollection of events, but that's fine. An hour a day oh. would be interesting. Well, I do. Okay, but in addition to the podcast. Well, yeah. Okay, like what hour a day? I mean, I it's like know. nine you shows on, right? We have a lot of shows. Okay, we're going to do a reshuffle at some point. Okay, well, but it, it's the cons- I'm, op- I'm open to that. That's fine. It's With- the consistency of the storylines that I think are good. The thread throughout the day. You're yeah, saying. yeah, I agree with that. But so I don't know. Well, fine. Well, I'm open to it. This fucking guy got on base, obviously. Oh, he's on base. Yeah. Uh, the, the the Cardinals are just giving the Braves a million chances, and this guy McCann is going to put one either in the seats or in the gap, and this game's going to be over. So you'd have to do it though from remotely, which I don't oh, know that, yeah, that makes yeah, you yeah. as in the in the loop as you're talking about. Oh sure, I think so. No. No, I think it would. I do think it would. Not as great as being here, but it would. Like, I don't know, like, Chaps, I don't, he's not, like, in the loop. That's feels true. Like, you know That's what I mean? harder to pull people, obviously. And but it's Chaps also the studio, be like, Come shitting on. on other shows. I don't know, it's probably not as no, Chaps is not interactive as shows. mine would probably Chaps, be. That's a good not point. So what, what, I would bring these, I'd bring these guys along? Yeah, probably. Okay, I don't know. Fine, I'm open to it. But that's fine. You're talking Blind Mike and Steve Robinson. An asshole, yeah. Yeah. Douchebag. Yeah. Probably. You want to punch him in the face? That's fine. I, told, I give you total permission. I have no problem with Steve Robinson. None. I had no, you can't wow. have a problem with somebody you don't know who they are. Well, you had a problem with them. You yeah, but know it could have been anybody. It was a mythical guy who I saw. But like you, a, you have to admit, in retrospect, you were totally wrong. You no, no, I was not. You told me it was going to be bigger than anything. That I was wrong about. That's what I'm saying. So you're wrong. I told you at the time it, you were it, wrong. I, I was wrong about that. Right. I was not wrong about it. It wasn't worth it because it, he I proved just, this guy right and nothing happened. I don't disagree with that. So that's what I meant. Right. So we were both. The wrong. risk was not worth the reward. Apology accepted. No big deal. Move on. That's fine. And Who you apologized? Know. You or me? You. It's not like you did. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. But you're dying. All right. I'm Slowly. not dying. You are definitely dying. What do you think? I look better when we like first met when it's fat at like no, media. Take day? it easy. You're so sensitive with your weight. I'm not sensitive. You're, you, <laughs> when you say that, you are <laughs> sensitive. Sensitive versus aggressive. I'm aggressive. Okay. You're aggressively sensitive. So sensitive you just want aggressive. me to be fat. No, I, I want you to be happy. However, whatever weight makes you happy, Dave. Okay. What I'm saying is you look, you have that grayish, thin, dying, disgusting, like decrepit, falling apart look. It's weird because people are saying I look tan. Mm, but I wonder if that's like a, hey, I'm dying, I need to get a Well, tan, that's not gray. Tan. Yeah, but it's like a fakeish sort of grayish, dying tan. Mm. That's my take on it. But hey, if you're alive in May, I'm wrong. I'll, I'll be the first to apologize. You've been called May 19th. What? What's that? It said May 19th. Right, end of May 19th yeah. today. Right, yes. All right, yeah. well, you know what? I'm looking forward to breaking that record. If I don't, Good. I hope you feel bad. You probably won it because you're a sociopath. What are you going to do if he actually dies then? Are you, you going to be terrible. like, would you feel oh, bad? If he died that day? No, you'd would be you like, would you take that, that as like I was right? Are you at all? Oh, that's a great day. win. Are you at all rooting for me to die? <laughs> Absolutely not. To prove like yourself you. right? No, 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 no. No, I would. No, but you're different. That Oh, if you died on that day? Well, here's the thing. Okay. Let's say that bus we talked about, you get hit by a bus that day. Do I take any credit for that? No. It's just cancer. Well, that you know has saying? nothing to do with me being sick. Well, what would you say if he died that same day, the day I predicted it was totally different? Let me put it. I would take a small what would I say or you would you have say? To, you'd have to brag yeah, about it. Yeah, I think you would do a, you would do a, so Dave Bournoy died yeah. there. Right. And by the way. You know, some people were commenting. Right. Yeah, yeah, but okay. dying by a freak, like, accident's not an Asterisk answer. for sure. But yeah. I would take a small sliver of not satisfaction. You'd have to. Asterisk, but, but be, you have but to be take a victory. It would be a victory. But according to you, you're fine. You've never been healthier. Although you never go to the doctor. Both true. You should go. You got to go. You're worth the age now. You're but if you feel go. bad or sick, they tell you. No, but. <laughs> well, like, not, not I, really. I, I, I want to know if I had cancer. Oh, like. Like, like a say, uh, well, like no, a, in order to like catch it early, you need to yeah. go for checkups. It can spread. You know what happens when it spreads? Then you die. May 18th. May 18th. Yeah. I was pissing blood for a while there back there. That's fine. I don't think that's a big issue. But that was because like steroids. You're off the Coke, right? I don't do. Listen, 
What? I'm not a Coke guy. I'm an Adderall guy. Okay, I've seen the videos. rumors of Coke know. are not true. I mean, I've seen a lot of videos around. You the saw internet. one video of a girl doing Coke while I'm talking. Tremendous to... amount of cocaine in that video. It's 50, 40. Well, air quotes. 50 I've... pounds of it, I saw. I don't yeah. know. How do you I... know that was cocaine? That's a good point. I don't know. I mean, what I, I, what, again, for the video in question, what do you want me to be a narc? Hey. I agree. I, I, I agree. If someone that. wants to do Coke, I could give a fuck less. Well, is that really? Even yes. people in your life? What's that? What if your dad was doing it? What do I care? Be <laughs> funny. Be, he wants his dad to be doing it. You kidding? Believe it. What do I care? You know, good that be for you, I'm going to I'm going to court that day, by the way. I know you're not going to be there. Where where is the update on that? I can give it to you now if you'd like, or sure. do you want me to go or I'll yes, go. Okay. go. Uh so it's in Woburn. Mm -hmm. It is in a couple of weeks, and it is basically a motion to dismiss. Your dad's gonna be there, other barstool attorneys will be there. We don't have to be there, but I may we may do a show from there that morning. And then I may, I want to go just, I just want to witness it. I think it's kind of mm -hmm. funny that's happening. So, you know, it's not the similar to the Rappaport thing. Like you said, I just want to watch this actually right. occur. Again, I don't know if people know, but the Somerville mayor is suing me and Dave, basically. And Barstool. For what, defamation of character? Well, Barstool. Oh. Right. Well, you're, you're named as well. You and I are named. I'm named in everything. Well, I'm just saying you're part of this lawsuit. I didn't know that, actually, to be honest. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, so that's in three weeks. I Four, uh, for shooting? the record, you, he wasn't even employed back then. Well, I don't, I don't think that's, again, sued. you promoted it. And well, frankly, if someone does something funny, I, I'll well, promote it. Well, I think it. you're as guilty as I am on this well, one. We're, gonna, we're in this together. You don't think you're guilty, right? Well, I think you can say you can use your cancer as an excuse not to go to jail. Huh. I, part of me <laughs> wants to have cancer to make you feel bad about wishing I had cancer. But then I would feel good that I won. Mm. And I would lord that over you till your day. To your nine day. But I, you're not. I, but, but that's great. I'm, I'm happy. To as see. far as I know, I don't. It's a dark thing to talk about. You're a dark guy, as Frankie Borelli said. Yeah, who knew? It's, who I mean, who, who knew, knew you were did dark? I, do I seem like... I was saying earlier, though, I'm, like, do you like got men who are happy? You know what I mean? Like happy. Like, like Glenny Balls? Yeah, that's a perfect example. Yeah, I do, because it's I feel though, like if you're fat, like, you better be happy. He's jolly more than Right, happy. but I mean, yeah. people like, almost like those sales guys who are no. oh, that, yeah, no. like high no, energy. No, I got, I got in a fight with my freshman year college roommate because I used to kill him in Madden's, and he was always like, what a great play at you just ran. Yeah, fuck it's like, dude, <laughs> fuck like, you. Right. I'm killing you be right upset. now. Be upset. That you takes away from the satisfaction yes, of winning. Totally, yes, totally. Absolutely. Base is loaded here in this game. All right. Good. All right, that's all, Kirk. You can go to bed. Bye, Kirk. Thank you. Always, Always fun. Faces Juice, that was Kirk Minahan. We are uh, due for a break, so stay with us. We'll be back in a few minutes.